Good morning, everyone. This is for everyone, not just divas. My queens, everyone who's watching this. Yes, I am sickly. No, I do not have my lashes on. I'll put them on later and hope that they stick because I have bad allergies. I came to Augusta, Georgia. I'd never been to Augusta, been to Hinesville, Savannah during the summer months. Came to Augusta, Georgia with a company called Infill Strategies, also known as Grassroots. Stay away from this company. It's a scam company. I have paperwork, documentation, doctor's hospital that is located in Augusta, Georgia that stated that I needed two days to heal, get my body together, to get me together. Um, and I was not able to do that because the guy that is running this little program out here in Augusta is by the name of Adam was like, no, you're not going to take your two days. So I picked up the phone and called him like old school people do. And I just basically told him, look, maybe I just need to go home because I'm not going to do this to myself. Uh, I'm not going to put myself out there in the weather and then knowing that I'm not sick. And I'm sick already. Excuse me. I'm clogged up. So anyway, you guys, um, you know, he said something about, well, you just have allergies. Well, I'm sorry. Allergies could turn to COVID. It's real out there. So anybody who's had it, because I've had it before, knows that it's nothing to play with. So I don't want to put myself out there. However, this is a company that will not tell you before you leave home, wherever you live, they will not tell you that you're not going to, um, first of all, your food, you'll have to pay for your own food. That's one minus. Second minus is they'll put you in the room with someone that is a drunk, a weed head, smoker, dope head, um, that'll bring all kinds of people into your room. They don't tell you that. Three, when you get a rental car, because they will try to use you if you're 21 and above, put the rental car under your name and have all kind of aliases or people driving the vehicle and then make you responsible for whatever happens. I don't know what number I'm at, three or four. Next thing is they want you to put the gas in the vehicle. They will reimburse you with receipts. That's a no-go. First of all, if I come anywhere, I'm coming to make money, not lose money, okay? Um... Another thing is they only care about themselves. They are racist people. This is a racist company. It's all go rally to rally for Georgia. Okay, all Republican. So even though you're voicing your opinion about the company, you're telling them, hey, look, I am sick. I really need some time to get me together. I need those two days, the doctor said. They don't care. That is not a full two days. I was seen on the 19th. So I was seen at about... 5.30-ish. I have to look at my papers. 5.30-ish. So yesterday would have made one day at 5.30. Today would have made the second day. He wanted me out and about at 8 a.m. in the morning. That's a no-go. So I am getting an attorney to, to look at this because this is a labor law conflict, okay? Um, you're going against what a doctor says. None of these people are doctors, so they don't have a right to tell me what to do. Um, I am being sent home because I chose to go home. Because I need to be able to take care of myself the right way. It's almost Christmas time, you guys. I shouldn't be feeling like this. When I got here, I wasn't like this. So I am going home. Um, however, they're sending me on the longest flight they could send me on because it's cheapest. Which I think is also wrong because I didn't expect to get sick. And two, I didn't know all these rules and regulations were going on out here. Because to me, this is all bogus. I would have said, keep your job, sweetheart. It's not that serious. I can get a job. I got a nice degree and I'm working on the second one. Okay, so I think it's kind of stupid how they do their business. So I'm telling you guys this because I'm always very upfront and sorry for the sniffling, but I'm about to use this. So I'm always telling you guys the truth. Every time I do a video, I don't care if it's a video on how I got this done or whether it's a video on just life in general i'm telling you guys this because you need to stay away from this company this company is going to scam you and unless you're willing to go out there and get your attorney they're going to try to get over you so you guys i'm only putting that out there because grassroots infill strategies whatever name they want to go by is based out of washington from what i noticed they will come at you with oh you're going to get 2500 dollars they'll make it sound like a dream We'll pay for your flight. We'll pay for your hotels. You know, all that good stuff. And you'll think, oh, great, okay. And then they'll tell you about the rental when you get here or wherever the destination is they're sending you to. So, guys, I'm telling you this to be careful. There is no job that's worth all this. Find something else. 
so you can do better. I know COVID is going on. It's real. I've had it already, like I said, back in August. Um, I got it real bad, and I definitely don't need it again, which is why I feel it's best for me to just go on and recoup and get myself back in order. But I want you guys to stay safe, and I just wanted to pass this on, and I'm going to try to go and clog, and clog my nose. And um, I didn't bring any medicines with me because the airlines had said, no liquids because you can make a bomb so i brought a few things with me on board but left a lot of the medicines behind and i was given even a script you guys to get medicine but they want me to put gas in their vehicle i that's crazy that is absolutely nuts so you guys stay away from this scam bogus ass freaking company stay away